Tuesday, Lewiston voters braved the snow and supported Shane Bouchard for mayor. In response to the election, Maine GOP Chair Demi Kazunis had this to say. Lewiston voters made such a great decision today, electing Shane Bouchard as their next mayor, and they will be proud of it for years to come. Shane is a Lewiston native, a small businessman, and he will bring deep care and experience to work for his hometown. This was the fifth big victory in 2017 mayoral races for Republicans in Maine, and as the Bangor Daily News put it, another blow to Democrats. In the election, Shane beat Maine People's Alliance political organizer, otherwise known as Lewiston's resident political correctness officer, Ben Chin. Bouchard earned 3,633 votes to Chin's 3,518. We want to thank everyone who helped get out the vote for Shane, whether it was knocking on doors, making phone calls, or driving folks to the poll. You made this crucial victory in Lewis impossible. As we mentioned, this is the fifth big victory for Republicans in Maine. Shane now joins Jason Levesque of Auburn and Marston Lovell in Saco as the three new elected Republican mayors in Maine. Republicans also helped re-elect Waterville Mayor Nick Isgro and elect Rick Mason to the state legislature, capping off a huge year for Maine Republicans. Now, let's keep that momentum going into 2018. On December 6, the House of Representatives passed the Concealed Carry Reciprocity Act of 2017, which was sponsored by our very own Congressman Bruce Poliquin. In response, Maine GOP Executive Director Jason Savage had this to say, We applaud our Second Amendment supporting Congressman and Maine 2nd District, Bruce Poliquin, for sponsoring and enthusiastically supporting this important legislation. For too long, because of a tangled web of laws, concealed carry permit owners could get into serious legal trouble simply for exercising their concealed carry permit right in other states that also have concealed carry laws. This legislation will end this craziness by ensuring permit holders in one state are protected in other states that allow concealed carry. It also ends the same problem for people in constitutional carry states. This legislation prioritizes the rights of law-abiding citizens to conceal carry and the ability to travel freely between states without worrying about conflicting state codes. Jason Savage later went on to call on all Democrat politicians in Maine, including Angus King and 2nd Congressional District candidates Lucas St. Clair and Jared Golden, to come forward and be straight with the people of Maine and answer the simple question. Do you support this bill? Yes or no? It's about time that we give law-abiding citizens their constitutional rights back, and we applaud Congressman Paul Quinn for sponsoring this bill. In a letter sent to legislative leaders last week, Governor LePage laid out his conditions in the ongoing fight over Medicaid expansion funding. The conditions put forward held with the previous statements from the governor. In the letter, he stated that there will be no tax increases, that money from the emergency fund is not used, that the funding mechanism be ongoing, and that wait lists for services for elderly and disabled people be eliminated before state government pays to expand Medicaid eligibility. Not only is this consistent with the previous comments from the governor, but this also opens up the dialogue about the current issues that we have with Medicaid before expanding it. These problems include low reimbursement rates, overly complex certification processes, and prioritizing those with disabilities. Here at the Maine GOP, we want to thank Governor LePage for having the courage to force liberals to produce a plan to fund their ideas without tax hikes or cuts to those truly in need. On December 14th, the House of Representatives passed Congressman Paul Quinn's fourth bill this year. The bill, which is called the Iranian Leadership Asset Transparency Act, publicly discloses the assets of Iran's tyrannical regime, which have been used to support and sponsor terrorism. Here's a video of Congressman Paul Quinn on the House floor advocating for the bill. Mr. Speaker, the primary responsibility of every member of Congress is to help keep our families safe and embedded with that promise is to support and defend our Constitution. Mr. Speaker, moms and dads in Maine and across America are increasingly alarmed by the frequency of terrorist attacks here at home with another attempted attack two days ago in New York City. 
Mr. Speaker, today there are 1,000 ongoing investigations of terrorist activity by the FBI in all 50 states. And that, Mr. Speaker, is why H.R. 1638 is so important. It is a bill, a common sense bill, that will help keep our families safe and free. And in doing so, we should never make this a political issue. Now, Mr. Speaker, the Iranian government, the government, is one of the chief sponsors of terrorism and instability throughout the world. Their senior political and military leaders and the Islamic Revolutionary Guard, they train, they arm, and they fund terrorist organizations around the world. They become experts at using the internet and social media to radicalize, to recruit, and to direct terrorist attacks around the globe, including here in the United States of America. Mr. Speaker, the Iranian government has American blood on its hands. Thank you for watching this episode of News You Can Trust. For more content, you can go to mainGOP.com or to our YouTube channel. If you would like to support the News You Can Trust program, you can go to mainGOP.com slash donate and support us today. Thank you so much for watching.